Hey guys, it's Bro you Wack, and welcome back to the Top 5 series where today we have a special episode where we're going to be looking at the Top 5 Best Overwatch League Exclusive Legendary Skins. Now just to quickly clear up some possible confusion, we're not going to be looking at Team Overwatch League skins. So like the Houston Outlaws skin, the Atlanta Rain, London Spitfire, those skins are not getting ranked. The skins that are getting ranked are under the Overwatch League and Overwatch Esports category of skins. And since Sojourn's Water Warrior skin finally released, and since the World Cup is taking place this week, I thought now would be the perfect time to look at the top five best skins that have released in the Overwatch League. Whether it's a championship skin, an MVP skin, or just a promotion skin, there have been so many fantastic skins released for the Overwatch League over its six seasons. And as always, I want you to comment down below what your favorite legendary Overwatch League skin is, and without further ado, let's finally look at the five best skins. Starting us off at number five is a skin that represents a meta that was short-lived in Overwatch. Pirate Ship Bastion is a moment in time that everyone either remembers fondly of or if you're normal you were probably traumatized by because you remember getting mowed down by a shielded pocketed bastion. So one piece of criteria that I heavily considered when picking these skins is not just how it looks but also how it represents a moment in time from the Overwatch League whether in this case it's from a composition or in some cases a player or from a team just how does it perfectly represent Overwatch League lore because at the end of the day these aren't just legendary skins but they're skins that are supposed to promote the league and oftentimes they tie in with a moment in time and with the exception of one other skin that represents another popular composition I think Pirate Ship Bastion represents one, one of the the funniest I would say comps in Overwatch's history I mean at one point we've all either picked a Bastion and begged your team to pick a Sigma or a Reinhardt and a Batiste and a Mercy to all pocket you on the payload while you move through the streets of Route 66 or any other payload map and it's so crazy that now I can say back in my day when you transformed as Bastion, you were stationary. You could have moved in your turret form. <laughs> and that's why as an Overwatch player, I really like this skin, but also as a fan of the Overwatch League, Pirate Ship Bastion is so funny because there was a short period of time where the League only ran Pirate Ship Bastion, even not on payload maps because of the ironclad buff that Bastion had whenever he transformed. It's actually kind of similar to what happened last season with Bastion where he was just a sustainable monster, but back at Overwatch 1 when he got that ironclad buff, it was way more deadly and the league just got ransacked by Bastion but eventually he did get nerfed and then uh, the league kind of went back to normal after that. But the league decided to commemorate to that composition by making a Bastion skin where they got so many details right with this skin. First and foremost he looks like a pirate ship with the sails with the Jolly Roger on his shoulders but whenever he transforms into a turret form you see the sails on his shoulders front and center but then you also have a pirate turret as if you're shooting lots of bullets by hand but then whenever you transform into your old form you have a gigantic cannon as if you're gonna shoot a big giant lead ball at an enemy pirate ship plus you have Bastion's bird being transformed into a parrot as well like there's just so many little details within that skin that even if you're not a fan of the Overwatch League and not even a fan of Bastion this skin is just so funny looking but is also one of Bastion's best skins just because they transformed him in all three phases so well but coming into the number four spot is a skin that gets on this list purely because of how it looks and this this is Wicked Moira. Coming out early this year in June and then again for a second time with the Atlanta Rain version to represent their mid-season Madness Championship has a skin for Moira that represents her perfectly. It represents her villain arc in such beautiful fashion with an all-black dress made for a super evil villain such as Moira with just a splash of color from these beautiful roses seen on her shoulders, back, and on her wrist. And it's those roses. Like, y'all know me. I absolutely love roses, but when it contrasts the deep dark black dress that Moore is wearing as if she's some sort of evil queen of an empire such as the Atlanta Rain makes it not only one of the best Moira skins but surprisingly fitting for the team that won the midseason Madness and then eventually got the Wicked Championship skin for Moira. Now to be fair I'm not ranking the Atlanta Rain version of this skin but it is just funny that they did get this version of the skin. And I don't know how you guys feel about that skin concept but me personally I like the fact that the league started to award mini championship skins for teams that won a smaller tournament. Like I remember Dallas Fuel got their colors for Happy Genji and then the Soul Dynasty got their colors for Luchador Reaper and then the Atlanta Rain with Wicked Mora. So it's just another fun version that if you're a fan of the team and you're a fan of any of these skins that you're just kind of double dipping with the skins uh, but you're also spending twice the amount of money as well. But I mean hey if the skins continue to look like Wicked Mora I'm down with spending double the amount of money. Actually I'm not because I, I didn't buy the Atlanta Rain version of skin uh, mainly because I'm not really a fan 
of the Atlanta rain. <laughs> but a skin that I am a fan of, mainly because of the lore behind it, is the Shanghai Dragons Championship skin for Sombra. I think a lot of people already know about the Shanghai Dragons lore, but in case you guys don't know, the Shanghai Dragons went winless in the first season of the Overwatch League. And because of this feat, the Dragons took home the record for the longest loss streak in all of esports. Out of all teams, in all video games, they lost the most amount of games in the professional scene. And so many people bring up that factoid, not to dog on the Dragons, but rather applaud them because of what they accomplished only a couple years later. Because in the fourth year of the Overwatch League, the Shanghai Dragons went from being one of the worst teams to the best team and winning it all. They won the Overwatch League Championship in the fourth season, being the first Eastern team in the league to bring home the trophy. It's not an easy task to win a championship, but it's especially more difficult if you're considered the worst team going winless in the first season and then only in your fourth season winning it all. But the Shanghai Dragons managed to do that and it's all represented here with Sombra Zhu Long skin. Hopefully I pronounced that right. So while you can argue that the championship Doomfist skin looks cooler or the championship Winston skin is cuter, I not only think the skin possibly looks a little bit better than both of those skins, but has a way better story that represents this team that's for. Plus, the skin actually looks like it's a Shanghai Dragon Championship skin with the dragon antlers on her headband, but then her whole entire suit has dragon scales as if she was a mixed breed of a dragon and a Latina girl. <laughs> but I also love the smoke coming out of her Uzi as if it's a fire-breathing dragon that just got done slaying the, uh, who, who was in the championship? It doesn't even matter who's in the championship because the Shanghai Dragons took it all. And with the color palette that just exudes China with the deep red and shiny gold, this is a perfect legendary skin for not only Sombra, but also the team that she represents. But real quickly, I want to have an honorable mention for a skin that just recently released, which is Water Warrior Sojourn. The reason why I didn't put it anywhere on this list besides the honorable mention is because, well, it's the newest skin and maybe recency bias might have an influence on where I place it. So I feel like the honorable mention slot is perfect because, well, it looks fantastic. Let's not get this wrong. This is a mermaid version of Sojourn, which on paper, it, it feels like that's not supposed to exist. But here it is in the flesh and boy, she, whew, she looks good, yeah! But as many of you guys probably know, this is a skin that is in promotion for this week's World Cup, but what you might not know is that I actually am the social lead for Team United States for the National Overwatch team. So if you want to support Team United States, or really any country that you're a fan of, be sure to watch the World Cup this week, but also if you want to financially support the prize pool, 25% of all funds from the Water Warrior skin bundle is going to go towards the World Cup prize pool. I'm not being sponsored by saying that, but I guess technically I am and being paid if Team United States wins and I get a piece of the prize pool. So if you want to fund my McDonald's addiction, you can do that. <laughs> but a skin that we have yet to feature on this list is an MVP skin. And the first and the best that it was ever to be released is Jonax Zenyatta Zenakji skin. That, that is a mouthful. It's Zenyatta Squid skin. Something that the Overwatch League used to do was whenever they awarded a player an MVP award, they would always give them an MVP skin within in the game but somebody had to ruin it for others so because of that we only got I think it was like three or four MVP skins but the best that matters the most here is Jonax skin because this was the first like I mentioned before but it's also the best in my opinion just because of how weird and creative but also fitting it is because as many people know or if you're an OG of the Overwatch League Jonax loved playing Zenyatta and Zenyatta I think was actually a pretty good hero back in season one <laughs> it's been so long I don't remember but because Jonak was the MVP of the league and he got his own skin he decided to make Zenyatta into an octopus because that is his favorite animal mainly because the octopus is one of the smartest animals I think in the whole entire ecosystem not just in the water but also because he has a tattoo on his body so that's why he, he wanted to commemorate the octopus with one of his favorite heroes in the game Zenyatta and man he did such a good job the thing that just draws my attention the most is the trapped octopus in his fishbowl head with water seeping throughout the rest of his body but then his orbs transform into that same octopus form as if they're just engulfing these little miniature balls of water and with the gold version of Zenyatta's orbs it looks even better because they turn into gold squid but then a small little detail that you might miss is that the New York Excelsior which is the team that Jonak originally used to play on is on Zenyatta's cape in the middle so just a little hint of who he not only plays on but also 
also who this skin is for. Jonah. I definitely think out of all MVP skins, but also out of all MVPs, the Zenyatta skin is definitely one of the best ones for an MVP that is probably the most popular and will probably be the most memorable if the Overwatch League continues, because we don't even know what's going on there. But there was a point in time where it seemed like the Overwatch League might have also ended all because a composition made the league so unbearable to watch. And this then soon spawned a skin that commemorated probably the most traumatizing part in Overwatch League history. And this also claims the number one spot as the best Overwatch League legendary skin. This is none other than Brigida! GOAT! So many hardcore Overwatch League fans look fondly on the GOATS meta, but I don't think you really remember how awful this was of a time period in Overwatch League history because you only saw the same six or seven heroes. You always saw the same three tanks, a D.Va, a Reinhardt, and a Zarya. And then you saw three to four support heroes. It was always a Lucio, a Zenyatta, sometimes a Mora, but the backbone of the GOATS composition was none other than Brigida. This made it so that Brigida was not only the most hated hero, but spawned the most hated composition. It got so bad that every time you turn on the Overwatch League, you saw the same GOATS composition. Every time a team tried to run something other than GOATS, but then they eventually switched back onto GOATS, teams would get booed. It's Jake on the far. This combo's worked well for them before, but as soon as they see the defensive setup, they will just simply swap it away. Crucial time lost here. But just to make the GOATS GOATS comp seem even more worse, this even changed how we played Overwatch. Because after GOATS ransacked the Overwatch League, they changed how we queued Overwatch to the point where you were forced to pick two tanks, two DPS, and two supports, all because they couldn't figure out a way to balance the GOAT composition, and they didn't want it to ruin Overwatch, just like how it ruined the Overwatch League. And that's why I love GOATS Brigida, because just a year later, the Overwatch Overwatch League got so ballsy to the point where they wanted to release a skin, charge you money for a skin that traumatized you every single time you booted up the Overwatch League or booted up Overwatch. Now, in terms of the skin itself, well, of course, it looks adorable because Brigitte is just an adorable hero, but the hero in action is so menacing. And with goat antlers or goat's armor on her shoulder pads, shield and flail, and also something that I just noticed, goat hooves on her feet, this is a skin that perfectly embodies an Overwatch League legendary skin. A skin that represents a composition that sucked so bad in Overwatch League history for a hero that not only broke the league, but also broke Overwatch to the point where they had to restructure the Q system. This is a legendary skin more so than just the title. But let me know what your favorite Overwatch League legendary skin is and hopefully the Overwatch League does unfold so that we can continue to get more skins like Goat Brigida. But until the seventh season, hopefully, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching more Overwatch 2 videos to come and bye.